saw what happened in, in court today was an embarrassing spectacle. The lawyer clearly was not able to demonstrate any form of irregularity with proceedings in parliament. The court asked him, so is there any record that indicates that X number of MPs worked out at a certain stage? Is there any record that shows that a head count of all the MPs in parliament was taken? That was not done. He said, absolutely said no. There was no evidence indicating whether that was a head count of the number of MPs um, present in parliament who voted to support the bill. There's also nothing provided by the, the lawyer that indicated that there um, was a workout by X number of people in parliament. So I think we should ignore all, all, all that uh, propaganda. In court, we adduce <laughs> evidence of, of matters that we can prove and we uh, apply the law to a resolution of the issues in question. And, and clearly, today, the proceedings were quite obvious that there was no form of irregularity whatsoever in the proceedings of the day to 29th March 2022. And in the case, as I indicated, that if indeed, assuming without admitting that it was only um, or the entire minority worked out of parliament, the proper quorum for decision making now is as I stated, 137 and not 138. Because indeed at that time, the Asinoth MP had had his election um, cancelled. The Asinoth MP had had his appeal strike out, and there was nothing preventing um, um, the enforcement to the judgment to the High Court. And, all, and therefore, he stayed away from proceedings on, on the day in question. So, really, today, he cannot go to Parliament and say he's going to partake in proceedings in Parliament. So the quorum for Parliament now is not 138, as has been wrongly bandied about by the minority. It is currently 137. And that's what we're working by. And the records will show that at that time, apart from Honorable Sarah Drasafo, all other members of Parliament of the minority were present. That's the record of Parliament. It's not my making. It's the record of Parliament that was tended by the applicant, Honorable Harun Yadwizu and the others. And I, I was even expecting when I received the documents, um, expecting, say, a record, a video <laughs> of, of the proceedings in question. And that's readily available. The proceedings of Parliament are captured on TV and shown even on GTV almost every day. So if you are diligent, you want to apply for injunction to restrain the enforcement of a law, and you think that the workout allegedly staged by a Parliament or members of, of, of Parliament at a particular time is crucial to your case. You definitely owe the duty to produce evidence of that. And there was nothing from the um, record of proceedings, the minute of the day in question, that there was a workout. And if there was a workout, what stage the workout occurred? And if it occurred at a certain stage, how many people engaged in the workout? And that for me was just fundamentally um, defective. Mm -hmm.